Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to an economic weather report. Today we've got the latest food price data for April. It's just come out and it shows that food prices are 6% above where they were this time last year. Food prices in April from March, they're up 0.3%. Now that's slightly lower than the monthly growth rates we've seen in February and March itself, but it still shows annual food price inflation is quite high. It's worth having a look though at the numbers within the data that's come out today. Pork, poultry, fruit and veggie prices all actually fell in April. But the gainers included food additives and condiments, confectionery and mutton and lamb prices. Mutton and lamb prices were actually up 7% in the month. So what does this all mean? Uh, eat a lot more pork and vegetables, pork fried veggies perhaps. And what, don't worry about the puddings or lamb roast, they were quite expensive in the last month. And try and have fruit after dinner. Actually no, what does this all mean for the Reserve Bank and interest rates? Well, as generally expected by the market, this number shows that inflation is still quite high, but it's not worse than expected. The Reserve Bank in essence still has an inflation problem which it needs to fix and it has to weigh up the slowing economy versus the inflationary risks that are out there at the moment. Most economists are currently saying the Reserve Bank will cut interest rates in September uh, and maybe early, as early as June the 5th. My bet though is still on a December cut. The Reserve Bank can't afford a collapse in the New Zealand dollar if it cuts interest rates too early because that will feed back into inflation in New Zealand. It may choose instead to let some easing of monetary conditions going on in the wholesale markets and the weakening New Zealand dollar to help boost the economy. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was the Economic Weather Report from interest.co.nz.